Hey everyone, uh, I know it's been uh, a really long time since I've actually answered questions, so we're going to do the lightning round. Um, and besides, I, um, I can't really tell you exactly where I am and what I'm doing, just know that I'm kind of working on a new project and I'm thinking um, I'm really loving it and have a really good time. <laughs> so uh, I'll tell you all about it as soon as I can, but until I can, I can't say anything. It's very secretive. Anyway. Uh, dear Jason, what was the last celebrity you had the opportunity of meeting who made you fan out? Like, you were ecstatic meeting them. You know what the funny thing is, is that with performers, I never have. And, I mean, I, I live in Hollywood, and I, I, I tend to wind up at a lot of Hollywood-type parties with a lot of those Hollywood-type people. Sorry, people keep texting me. Um, and I've never fanned out with... Anyone, even if I'm like a really big fan, uh, you know, and and mostly because uh, really famous people really hate it when you do that. So like, if you just like don't react at all and just go, oh hi, how are you, you know, and and don't be all like aloof, like oh I've I've never heard of you, like don't pull that shit, but like just be, you know, treat them like you know you someone that you meet at a party that is not famous and they they usually respond much better to that because they're so sick and tired of people going oh my god you're like so amazing you know and i'm also not really like a a fan geek type although um i have recently um met and and gotten to know some of my favorite uh porn directors um a, a couple of which who i you know have kind of been sort of idols of mine um and i i do have to kind of remind myself to dial it back and not go, oh, I really love that movie, you know, because, like, that just, they fucking hate that shit. Um, the closest I ever came was the first time I met Shishi LaRue, because I, I love Shishi's movies, and, and um, I, I remember having to dial it back, and, and, you know, for, like, a minute, and, 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 then it, and then I was fine. How often do you get recognized? Oh, um... Depends on where I am and what I'm doing. I've been recognized in some really inopportune places. Uh, like one time when I was renting a car with my mother. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, my husband and I went on vacation with my parents to Albuquerque of all weird places. Well, we went to Santa Fe, but we landed in, in Albuquerque. And, um, and, and we were renting a car to drive to Santa Fe. And the guy renting, like I, the way he recognized me and started talking about the movies that I was in or that I had done until he sort of <laughs> sort of went, oh shit, you're with your mom. Um, and so that was, that was funny, but, uh, it'll depend on where I am. Um, you know, uh, although the, the, the most fun one I remember is I, I went to a Kathy Griffin concert with, um, a bunch of my friends and we were waiting in line and the two guys ahead of me, one of them turned around and he goes, oh cool. Jason Mark's behind us. And I'm just standing there. I'm like, Oh, me! And I, uh, and I was a little pissed because none of my friends were, were there um, to, to, to hear it. And then I later found out that a couple of them actually did hear it. So that was kind of fun. And then the, the, one of the other cool ones was when I was on vacation in um, uh, Key West once. And it was, it was the time that we went on the boat trip. I, and I did a video. I posted the, the video of the boat trip, uh, like the gay nudist boat trip. Um, and uh, me and all the guys that I've been hanging out with at the resort that week, we went to the thing and, and then we met guys from another resort. And I, I started introducing everybody and I'm like, oh, and I'm Jason. And the guy goes, yeah, I know, I read your blog. And like right in front of all my friends. Love that. Um, so that was fun. Um, have you met an unfan that made you mad or uncomfortable and how did you handle the situation? I don't know what an unfan is. Um, so, no, I don't think... Oh, you mean, like, somebody who, like, really hates me uh, <laughs> all the time? Um, but, uh, no, actually, I, I've, I don't think I've ever met anyone who, like, really dislikes me. Um, because, I mean, if you see me coming, you're just going to leave. If you just... Because, you know, if you're not... Anyway. How, email, how many emails do you averagely receive, and what was the most? Oh, uh, man, like, 10 or 15 a day? from, from, 
I, I think you mean like from, from uh, Gay Daily Hot, 10 or 15 a day, which is why I, and it's getting harder and harder to keep up with everything, mostly because since I left my last job, I've been working on a lot of projects and um, I, I get very little time and I want to blog as much as I can and I want to kind of keep in touch with you guys that way. I used to answer every single email and I hope I get to the point where I can do that again. Um, if you don't hear from me, uh, know that I did get the email and I'm going to try to get back to everybody even if it's like months later. So, you know, sorry. If you say, oh my God, this is really important. I need to hear from you right now. I'll try to, I, you know, but anyway. Uh, I just turned 23 and I was wondering what was the youngest uh, that you could tell email question that you've received and what was it generally about? I get messages uh, because uh, through my YouTube channel, I get messages from like teenagers all the time. Uh, and um, yeah, that like constantly. And it's usually just kind of coming out questions, you know, how do I tell my mom? How do I tell my best friend? Um, I'm in love with my best friend and how do I let him know that. And sometimes I'm like, dude, he's straight, leave him alone. Just go find your own guy. I, that's, you know, and sometimes I'm like, he's clearly sending you messages. Why don't you ask him out to a movie? You know, so there's that, but I never read those on the blog. Cause I, it's not, I, I just, I, those are the guys that I just answer directly. If, if you're, you know, if you identify yourself as a teenager, um, you know, somebody's asking for advice, I'll give advice, but I always just go, never read my blog. Um, I wonder what I would have asked you if I had the resources now, but as a kid, I have no idea. And it does kind of scare me. There's the lightning round. Um, you know what? Let's answer a couple more. My lunch date is gonna, or my dinner date. I can't wait to show you pictures of the dinner date because you're all gonna fucking chat. <laughs> Dear Jason, I hear you live in the Triangle area. That sounds really dirty. Um, I would love to see if I could get involved. I have plenty of pictures. I have no idea what you mean by this, Scotty. Um, but uh, if you mean you want to perform in movies, um, I'm never a model scout. And so, because uh, like scouting models, it just like scares the shit out of me and I'm really bad at it. Um, I just, I, this is what I loved about working at Jake Cruz was that I didn't have to do any of that. Um, I would just show up to work, read what was on the board. <laughs> I would say, Jason is directing these two guys. And I would go, good, that I can do. Um, and I, that's not going to happen anymore. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of miss that. Um, cause that was really good. Uh, I guess that's about it. And uh, thank you for all of the wonderful support. Um, I posted a video, by the way, of, of me singing and driving. And um, I was a little concerned um, because I, you know, like I'm, I'm like the whole time I'm like watching where I'm going or I'm like checking and I keep like checking my mirror and it kind of looks like I keep taking my eyes off of the road. So I was a little worried about it. And, and then um, I asked my lawyer and he goes, Jason, you had somebody else in the car with you, right? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, and they were, and, and so it was, Anyway, we figured out that it's probably just fine for me, so I'm going to post it again. I was lip syncing to an 80s song. Actually, no, I was lip syncing to uh, Aqua singing about the 80s. Um, so it's an 80s song, meaning that it's a song about the 80s, even though it's not actually a song from the 80s. Um, keep asking me questions. I cannot wait to tell you what I've been up to. <laughs>